Hello everyone, this is Bass, Crafting for a Mommy here, and this is a video slash photo tutorial to help you set up your new diamond painting project. So whether you are new to the hobby or you are transitioning from a completed project to setting up a new one, um, I hope this will be helpful. This is my new project, 55 by 70, beautiful picture of a lady with her dog on her lap, and I could not be more excited. All right, once you open your package, you are going to get the following things. You're going to get your canvas. You're going to get a sheet um, that has all the symbols and all the DMs, the numbers of the beads and how many you need them. Got to make sure that you keep that. That's important. And then you also will receive your entire set of diamonds and drills. Then you're also going to receive our tools of the trade, as we call it. You're going to get your tray looks different to different suppliers it doesn't really matter it's more of a preference i like the white ones um you're gonna get a tweezer especially if you're square a drill pen and also the wax so make sure that you get one for each of your kit and then you're going to get your entire set of drills um, and you please expect that you're going to have multiple packages of each of the drills, um, depending on how big your project is and how many colors you need of each of that particular color. So I'm just here admiring mine. Um, so the first thing that I would ask you guys to do is make sure that when your kit comes in, perform an accuracy and a completeness check on the beads. What do you mean? Make sure you get the right beads based on your inventory and that you have enough of them. So two different things that you need to get satisfied. So let me walk, walk you through to an example. So those small packets usually contains about 200 diamonds. In this case, 961, I would be needing 39 of those diamonds to get my project done. So so they send me one packet. I know it's going to be a lot of extra, but that's all right. I'd rather have extra than not really having enough. Um, just save the rest, you know, for your next project. Let's do it again as an example. So I need 304 um, beads of 3721 to finish my project. And in this case, they gave me two packets of diamonds so that's going to be around 400 um i still have 96 extra and that's okay again i like extras rather than running out of things now there are times that you are going to get big bags like this in this case 310 is color black in dmc and i am going to be in 310 land for a while i need about 8,356 of it I think um, so they gave me 8 of those 1,000 baggies and they also give me 2 of the 200 so that gives me 8,400 which is right you know just enough for me so prepare your containers use the labels that usually come with containers or your kits to list all the dmc's or numbers of the beads I always call it dmc sorry all the numbers of the beads just so you know where to put it and Pour as much or as little as you want on the containers. For me, I really like the small container um, simply because it faces how much and how often I open the original packages of the beads. I, you know, it's easier for me to store my extra beads um, on the original packages rather than open things up and put it in a small baggie. Again, that's my preference. Others have everything in one big container with even the you know the the last bit of those diamonds um open and ready for them to use i mean for me i mean that's my preference so before you um before you pick up your pen just make sure you you appreciate the multiple colors that your project will use okay so this step is optional you guys don't need to do this but what i do is that i replace the cover of my um painting whether it's transparent or the opaque one i replace it with parchment paper um i use this particular parchment paper um i got this from amazon um you really don't need to do this but for me i like it because you know what if you're working on a big project and you usually do that big blocks of um, original cover is unwieldy um, sometimes they don't stick anymore if you keep on opening it up um, and so on and I'm very sensitive when it comes to my canvas I don't want anything sticking to it so um, 
I use this to replace it and it actually motivates me to get on going because I feel like it's a unit of work. Once I'm done with one, I felt, you know, I feel a little bit of accomplishment right there. So either side works and this is how you do it. So first of all is that you peel back the entire cover, um, peel it little by little just so you don't expose the side the adhesive side to dust or to any inadvertent objects that will eventually fall on it and take away the adhesive of your project and once you peel it back what you do is that you lay the parchment um you know one side by side um, with a little bit of overlap i'd like to start on the reverse order and how i do my project i usually start top left so therefore i would like to start my parchment or laying my parchment on the bottom right the reason being is that i want the last parchment that i will peel off to be the one that will be on the last portion of the project that i'm working on i hope you get my drift but essentially i just want it to be laid properly um I use the how the overlaps both on the right side and on the bottom side um, to line up the parchment because I want uniform and complete coverage. I don't want any exposed adhesive. I want also the right amount of overlap. So that's just me being an OC. Um, so so just pause while you're doing it. You're going to peel back and see um, how beautiful your work will turn out and i'm very encouraged by this painting because it's big enough to see all the details on the face of this beautiful lady so i'm ready to get going to be honest um so here this is what i'm saying so look my starting point on the project is always on the top left so be, be, be the way that i laid out my parchment the one on top across all the parchment or among all the parchment is the last one that i laid up so see i mean there's method to the madness right so now I am ready to start. I've sorted my beads. I have replaced my cover of parchment. So now what I did is that I clipped it onto my light pad. Oh, I can't do it without the light pad, guys. You guys need to have the light pad because it will save eye strain. Just don't put it too much, though, um, or too high. Because for me, I mean, I'm very conscious that I, it might trigger my migraine. Because this is a big painting. You also need to roll up, or I needed to roll up, the rest of my canvas just so it's not unwieldy when I get going on it, right? So, oh, I'm ready to jump in. Almost there, almost there. So, yep, yeah, see, this is um, 3078. Beautiful color. Reminds me of Limoncello at the Amalfi Coast. Is um, my first set of drills that I would lay down. So, I poured a bit of 3078 drills on my tray shake it up because you want the drills to be like this um, face up and also lined perfectly it just makes picking it up easier rather than it being all over the place all right so sh the more you shake the more it performs it, it actually looks like that the more it feels it fell on the you know fell on the grooves as we call it Oh gosh, I can't talk today. Um, so 3078 is, is um, that symbol, letter L, on my canvas. So all I need to do is pick up 3078 on my drill pen and stick it where I see L. So that's it. I mean, you know, quite easy. I hope you find the prep up enjoyable. But most importantly, you are now well organized to start your new project. So good luck and thank you for your time. Bye.